So wasn't sure what to expect today with um, a session with Lou and Craig. I've had Lou solo and I've had Craig solo, but I didn't know what to expect um, with both of them. And I think before I was like, I don't know if it was nervous or just excited, but I definitely was having some feelings before. Um, and when we started the session, I was kind of anticipating, you know, what the, the kind of experiences I've had with both of them separately. Um, but it was so much more, <laughs> uh, at first I just kind of was like, okay, I'm just going to sort of receive what, what they're offering me. And, um, and then at a certain point, I hesitate to call it hypnosis because I, I, I don't feel like I was hypnotized. Um, but I definitely feel like I put myself into a bit of a trance when I was able to from the start, let go and, and trust Craig and Lou because I know them and to like trust the process. Um, and yeah, at a certain point, like my body was moving in ways that I <laughs> don't, you couldn't even imagine what it looks like or what it looks like, um, while it was happening. But, um, I, I was really overcome at a certain point. I, I, some of it, some of it's a little bit of a blur, but, um, I, I remember Craig just sort of telling me like, it's okay to let go and to lean in and to like trust them and also to trust myself. Um, and at that point, um, I think I started to cry really, really hard. I think my whole mask was wet by the end of the session. Um, and crying historically has always been a really big release for me. And so it was, it, 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 I think that was kind of like the starting point of, of going through the, the, um, like the energetic motions of what was, I was about to experience, like the crying was sort of the lift off that I could just let go. And, you know, I've, I, I always feel like I'm trying to catch my breath and, um, that's been like that for, I don't know how long, um, and when I started to explain that and to open up in my session verbally with what I was going through was when, uh, you know, Craig verbally started to, to walk me through, um, where we were going. And I felt like Lou was there also physically to support that journey. Um, so the two of them together is like, <laughs> like really mind blowing and magical and, um, I told my friends who aren't really into like woo woo stuff, um, that if they're open to experiencing something like that, uh, that they should definitely, um, work with, with Craig and Lou, cause they're both tremendous and amazing on their own, but they're together, like, like outer space. That's how I describe my experience. It was like going to outer space, meeting some aliens, doing some body work, and then like slowly floating back down to earth. That's, that's like the only way I could really describe what I was feeling. Um, and at a certain point, Craig did, did I don't, like some kind of sonic boom on my chest up here. And at the beginning I couldn't breathe. I felt like every time I tried to take a deep breath, it would stop right here. And then all of a sudden when he did this, I don't know what it was because I had my eyes closed the whole time. It was like, whew, like this whole vibration just like rushing through my body and all of a sudden I could breathe to the point where I started laughing hysterically and then started crying <laughs> um because it was like I could breathe for the first time it was like it, it it was such an intense moment um and then feeling like Lou was catching that energy for me too was was really was really important having that having that sort of combination combination of like the intensity but also the softness of the experience um and i think at a certain point i fell to the floor maybe a couple times um but man after that session i was like whoa you know like i just felt i felt like 
knew was the, way, the only way I could describe it. I felt like I could breathe. Um, and I think there's, there's still more to explore because I think trauma gets trapped in our bodies in really strange ways. Um, and um, you have to let it go to, to live life, right? And um, even just like I describe myself as an emotional sponge, even just um, taking on that, that energy around us of um, trauma and grief that maybe isn't even our story um, and l learning how to, you know, obviously still be present in that and still care about it, um, but not to, um, not to absorb it, to learn how to, to, to let it go and, and be sympathetic to that story, but not make it your own story. Um, and I'm looking forward to more sessions, uh, with the two of them. I think they are so powerful that I'd probably do monthly, um, some people may need more. For me, I think it's like a once a month because I'm taking it and now I'm digesting it and um, seeing how it feels and, um, and what it looks like uh, as time moves forward. Um, yeah, I, there's almost no other way to describe that experience except I was literally flying in space and it was fucking awesome. <laughs>